everyone. Welcome back to Show Me How to Win. We're in Orange County, California, and we're in the AEG house. This is where uh, a lot of AEG designers talk about their designs, do play testing, and a lot of wonderful things happen here. So uh, we're here checking out Tiny Towns, AEG's new release in 2019. Next to me is Josh Wood. He is the de developer of this yeah. game, right? So Josh, tell me, what kind of game is Tiny Towns? Tiny Towns is like a uh, sort of a puzzle, like a spatial puzzle game. Um, it's got a little bit of like bingo in it. It's like color matching and um, it's simultaneous play. Like everyone's kind of taking their turns at the same time, kind of like a roll and write style. Um, everyone gets the same resources and has to, you know, deal with them in their own unique way. And I heard from somebody that this is kind of a roll and write, but with erasing in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, um, you know, the thing that's so great about this game is that um, in the game, people are going to take turns as the master builder. They're going to call a resource, and then people are going to place it. So maybe I would call blue, then the next player would call red, and then the next player might call yellow. And then now I have, like, the pattern that matches the uh, the cottage card. And so I'd, like, kind of erase these cubes, and then I get to place a cottage in one of those spaces. And then so you can kind of see how your board would fill up, and then it would kind of shrink, and then it fills up, and then shrinks, and then you sometimes you have, a, like, no space, and then you build a couple things, and then you're like, whew, now I'm, like, I'm out, like, I'm in the clear. All right, so this is what a finished town would kind of look yeah. like, right? So, so you start off with, like, a blank... Um, city and then sort of at the end of the game you're gonna have like a fellow town with uh, multiple buildings there are um, the seven different building types and um, you know each card has uh, four of each in the game so you can kind of like interchange and so each game is like very different like in one game like you're like oh I really want to focus on these two buildings in another game you're like I kind of want a little bit of everything Okay, so basically, as players play, everybody take turns being the uh, master builder, first player, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I just, you know, I think that's a super cool first player token. I, I just say that because I designed all the wood pieces in the game. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I just kind of want this to be like, like, like the symbol for Tiny Towns. I think it's just so cool. <laughs> yes, Josh, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so basically players take turns uh, calling out the cube they want. So they will place one and then everybody, if they call something that you can use, great. You can build something even when it's not your turn, right? Yeah, you can build uh, no matter whose turn it is. And then, but you know, it's just important that like when you're a master builder, it just feels like it's usually we're going to build because you're going to be like, finally, I get to place that blue that I've been really wanting, you know. Okay, cool. So, um, and what are these cards, these purple cards? Yeah, so this is like an optional thing that we highly recommend that you play with. Um, you're dealt out two of them, and they're monuments, and so everyone would get one monument meeple at the beginning of the game. And it's got its own pattern. It's one building that only you can build. Um, and they give you, like, a lot of points, but a lot of restrictions, or, you know, they kind of, like, change up the game, like, a little bit. So they kind of, like, can blend your strategy a little bit into what you're planning on doing. Okay, and these cards here are just the different cards. These are the different cards. So yeah, like you can see, like the game comes with like you know four red cards and four uh, yellow cards. The only card that's in every game is the cottage, but every other building type has at least four. And then there's um, you know there's several uh, monument cards. So looking at this game right here, this particular setup, you have college cottage that uh, is three points if it's fed. How do you feed it? You have to have uh, the farm to feed it. And then the well is uh, one point next to every cottage. So basically, there's a lot of combos depending on what buildings come out. So Josh, since you're the uh, expert in this game, can you give me some strategy tip on how to be successful at Tiny Towns? Yeah, so I think that the biggest thing that you need to know is like you need to like think a lot ahead you need to think about like what ideally you want your town to look like and so sometimes people will get like called a resource and they go oh blue like i don't want to place a blue and they just go like whatever i'll put it off to the side or whatever i'll figure it out later um but really when when you place a resource you should know exactly what you hope that resource is going to turn out to be and then also kind of making sure that when you build a building it doesn't lead to like any kind of weird pockets that you don't know how to deal with you know where you're like ooh, you know now like you know if you build you know yourself like with this like hole here you like can't build anything with one cube so you gotta like kind of like you know work on the outside a little bit and then just sort of like figure out how to like work your way in so is it better to build a smaller building first or the larger building first? I usually think the larger buildings are a little bit better. Think about what big buildings you need to have and try to get them out of the way first, the more complicated ones, because a lot of times people kind of like, you know, throw in a couple cottages or wells and then they go, 
oh man, I really like, now I like can't even fit in that chapel because of the weird like L shape that it is. And so I usually think you want to kind of like look for your bigger buildings first, figure out how they're going to play in, in their role. And then, you know, start work on your smaller buildings as like, you know, if the game goes on, you'll have plenty of time, right? Okay. But what if somebody sees that I need a particular color and keeps calling the color that I don't, that I don't need? Do you, do you have like a way to mitigate that? Yeah, that's tough. So like, I definitely think like a big strategy tip I have in this game is uh, when you're, when you're playing with the master builder mode, um, you should kind of focus on other people's boards a little bit, kind of like look over, see what they're trying to do. If you notice that they're really going like heavy, like chapel cottage, or like if they're like going heavy, like in strategy, you got to kind of like go, okay, he's probably going to call blue, you know, she's going to call it gray. So, you know, I want to like, kind of like work on that. You know, new players tend to call a lot of gray and brown. A lot of advanced players will call maybe more like, you know, your yellows and blues and reds, you know, they'll, they'll sort of like figure out the other colors um, a little bit more because a lot of times new players really focus on wells because they're so small and easy to build. So then they go, cool, I'm just building things. And then, um, and then like, it kind of like can really like affect like more experienced players because they're like, Ooh, like I didn't expect so many Browns and grays to be called. Okay. So, uh, to summarize, you have to sort of, by looking at what buildings come out, you have to have in your mind before you start building anything, have an idea on what's going to go where and start with the bigger buildings first, because that way you, you have more room to work with. And also not just focus on your own board, but pay attention to what other people are start calling. And sometimes maybe you have to change your strategy a little bit if necessary. Right. Yeah, that's exactly it. And, and, you know, always remember like when you have your monument, these things can be really powerful. So just kind of think about like, how that's going to play into these, you know, cards out here. Yeah, because you draft, right? You get two and you, yeah, you, you pick two, one. And then you choose one. So, yes, you want to like, you, you know, kind of like think about that like ahead of time for sure. Okay. Great. Thank you so much, Josh, for showing me how to win at Tiny Towns. And thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm.